In our previous sessions, we have understood about new keyword and also we have seen this keyword and also we have seen how to create constructor function. Now in this, what we are going to do, we are going to learn about factory function. Factory function is nothing but a function which will be returning an object is called as factory function. And also it will be creating object instance without the use of new keyword. In constructor function we have already seen when we use new keyword the object will be created that is basically instance of object will be created. But in factory function we are not going to use new keyword but this function itself it will be returning an object first let me just write normal function function course and inside this i will just display this one log mm, let me just write here science i will save this now nothing will be reflected inside console because i have to call here I will save this. Now you can see science is displayed. Whatever data we are giving inside this function, we can return this one as a normal string or whatever it is, we can just return like that. I will remove return. Science. Now in console, when I have returned this one, it is not getting displayed. So what I will be doing, I will just create one variable, let data is equal to course and here I am just going to display data. I will save this. Now science data, whatever string I am having inside the normal function, that will be displayed. Okay, this is basically our regular function. Now we are going to see about factory function. The function which will be returning an object is called as factory function. I will be writing here function this function name before that let me just create one simple object let i will be writing here bike and inside this bike i will give the name name let me just give here honda honda then next i'm just going to give model number model number let me just give here one two three four then I will be creating one method top and this is going to return uh, bike is top okay just a string this is my normal object now I can just display that one I will be writing here bike I will save this now this is my object let me just comment my regular function this is my object now if i just want the data of bike i can just call the method by using this one now my data will be displayed whatever i am having that data is displayed now again what i want to do i will copy this i will give here bike one bike one and also i'm going to give bike one i will paste the same thing here let me just change the name bike two and here also i will be displaying that bike 2 i will save this now bike 2 data is displayed let me just comment it out now what i am going to do here name i will be giving bullet model number something and function bike is stopped now here if you notice for bike 1 i am having name model number and stop for bike 2 also name model number and stop we are having same properties and same method now what we have done we are repeating our code but we should always follow the concept dry that is don't repeat yourself only values are changed but this whatever keys we are having that is same so instead of writing this what we are going to do we are going to create function before also we have seen about constructor function we were doing the same thing. Now using factory function, I will be showing you this example. I will be writing here function. Inside this, I will be writing here bike. 
now what i am going to do i am just going to copy this entire thing i will be pasting it here and i will just remove this one i will save this now inside this factory function what we are going to do we are going to return an object so after writing this instead of returning here what i am going to do i am just going to remove this we don't need this one instead of this i will just write here return keyword now this function is returning entire object so as i told you the function which is returning an object is called as factory function now to create instance let bike one bike one i have already commented now here i don't have to write new keyword how we wrote in constructor function directly we can just write here bike okay function name now i'm just going to log and inside this i will be printing bike one i will save this now you can see entire object will be displayed because this function is returning an object now again if i just want bike two i can just do the same thing bike two here i will be writing bike two i will save this okay let me write here bike one and below this i'm just going to write bike two i will save this now i will be getting the result now the problem in this example is i am having the static data i do not have dynamic data for bike one also same data is displayed for bike two also same data is displayed now what i am going to do instead of writing like this i will be passing parameters factory function with parameters now here i will be writing parameter name then i am just going to write model number then i will be writing okay that's it i just want two things now this name will be equal to this parameter i will be writing it here then this model number i will be writing model copy and here i am just going to paste this is how we are going to write now in modern javascript what we will do if our key and value is same then we are just going to remove this key okay this is same as this one so you don't get confused if it is same we are just going to remove this one and we will keep this result and for this function also we have already seen we don't have to use this function keyword and also we don't have to give this colon we are just simplifying our code now we are using this parameters now for this bike one i am just going to give honda and second i am just going to give here 1 2 3 4 for this bike 2 i will be giving here bullet the number let me just give something i will save this now you can see for both bike 1 and bike 2 we are having different values now what we have done we are giving the different that is dynamic data using parameters what this function has done this function is returning an object so it is called as factory function if our key and value is same we can give only value here okay whatever it is we just have to give the same thing now if i just write here name one i will save this i won't be getting i will be getting this error so whatever parameter we have passed we are passing the same thing i have written the method now while creating the instance of object we don't have to use new keyword without the use of new keyword we are going to use this factory function as soon as i write this one object will be created instance of object will be created and based on this parameters this values will be assigned to this object so you should never forget when we are writing constructor function we are not going to return object okay we are normally we are going to use this dot first name is equal to we are going to use like that but in factory function we will be returning an object and we won't use new keyword but in constructor function we will be using new keyword okay there are some of the basic differences you have to understand between factory function and constructor function that we are going to see in next session.